How's it going guys? Right, it was Sunday once again, which means it was car boot sale day. Um, again, got up, uh, come rain or shine, and today it was certainly raining. Um, so there wasn't a lot of car boot sale action going on today, uh, but persisted, went out and uh, got a few bits. Again, it's pretty hard when it's raining, and there really wasn't a lot of choice. Probably like 10% of what is usually there. Um, but I'll show you what I got today. I also got a pretty cool pickup to show you as well. Right, a couple of PS2 games to start with then. I uh, managed to pick up Space Invaders Anniversary. Um, so it's like nine versions of Space Invaders there. Um, all boxed with instructions and stuff. Got that for one pound. Um, then picked up also on the PS2, Street Fighter 3 EX. Uh, which is like a tag team version of Street Fighter. Not actually played that one before. Um, looked quite good though. Um, seems to be averagely rare-ish on the PS2, so uh, got that for £2, seems to be worth about 10 So that was a good little result on that one. Um, then when we were at the Sinkar Boots, a couple of bits off one guy. Uh, some Super NES games and a DS game. Uh, managed to get uh, The Legend of Zelda, the Phantom Hourglass on the DS. Um, yeah, seems to be, you know, good condition, all the bits and bobs in there. Um, but yeah, I got this for my girlfriend, but she'd already got it. I didn't know that. Um, so this one is actually up for trade. So if anyone wants, um, yeah, Zelda for the DS, uh, and you got something cool you want to trade, probably not DS stuff, but something else, uh, yeah, send me a PM and maybe we can sort something out. So I got that. Um, plus a few other games as well for the uh, SNES. Got um, Booger Man, a pick and lick adventure. So yeah, a superhero who basically yeah flicks bogeys at people. Um, Ocean's Pushover, uh, the Goof Troop, uh, the classic Street Fighter 2, uh, Race Driving, and the Stallone classic Cliffhanger, which brings my now total of uh, Stallone games on the Super Nintendo to two, uh, Cliffhanger and Judge Dredd. Uh, obviously now just need uh, Demolition Man to uh, complete the Holy Trilogy, uh, which, uh, as you know, is it's not a bad game, actually, I don't think, on the Super NES when I played it. It was pretty good, so I'll have to have a look out for that at some point. Right, so all those six, then, uh, Super NES games and Zelda, uh, I got for £6, which was a pretty good little uh, deal there. Right, next up, then, went to another boot, and I think got one thing from there. Uh, which was some Mega CD games again. I don't know why these keep turning up again. I've never seen any before for sale. And all of a sudden they keep turning up. Um, so yeah, uh, Cobra Command and Soul Feast, just the standard issue ones there. And the uh, Sega Classics Arcade Collection there. And then also got uh, Batman Returns as well, which is the sort of gem of the three. Um, now I always rip my brother about this because again, we had uh, Lethal Enforcer on the Mega CD and he sold it all, including the second pink gun um, for Batman Returns. Um, so uh, yeah, I always rip him about it. Again, that pink gun alone these days usually goes for about £80. Um, so anyway, check the value roughly of this today. Uh, seems to be going for about 30 quid, so that's a pretty good result. So those three were one shiny pound. So that was a, yeah, quite a good result really for those three on the Mega CD. Uh, so that was it for car boot uh, purchases today. Um, then I managed to get um, a pickup this week on eBay. Uh, so went out and uh, went to go and collect it, which was... Let me bring it over. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. A mighty Vectrex. Um, so, I have, already have a Vectrex. Um, but yes, I went for this one, get a second one uh, for the collection. So, got the system itself, which is in yeah, real nice condition. Uh, gave it a little clean up this afternoon. It's all looking good. Um, also came with second controller as well uh, which was really you know good to get because then didn't have a spare one uh, for those two player games so yeah really quite excited to get one of those and so those things alone uh, usually go for about sort of 40 odd pounds on ebay so quite an expensive thing to get hold of a second uh, vectrex controller sometimes you might as well just buy a new vectrex it's cost nearly the same amount of money uh, also came with a load of games as well let's move this to one side for a sec so we've got uh, Armor Attack, uh, Clean Sweep, Spike, Cosmic Chasm, uh, Berserk, 
Starhawk, Ripoff, a few more, uh, Bedlam, Hyper Chase, Flipper Pinball, Scramble, great game, and the Fortress of Nozod, plus mine, um, yeah, mine sweep on the actual system itself. Um, so yeah, 12 games um, along with the system. Right, I'll tell you the price in one minute. Um, now, the system, I'll show you what is, uh, <laughs> what was kind of wrong with it. Right, let's move that one to one side. Let's bring in Vectrex 2. <laughs> Excuse the loud buzzing now noises that is probably happening now on camera. Right, I'll turn off the uh, lights. Right, so, this is how um, your uh, yeah your original Vectrex screen should look. Now, when I looked at this one today, let's move this over. As you can see, it had loads of lines and stuff all over it when I first looked at it, and I was like, oh, that doesn't look good. <laughs> uh, anyway, the woman was she yeah she didn't think anything was wrong with it, and I was a bit like, yeah, it really shouldn't have any of these lines basically on the screen. You know, it should be clear and crisp. Um, now. I originally paid for all this lot £62, uh, which is still a really cool deal for a Vectrex 12 games and extra controller. Um, but anyway, it was like, well, I don't really want to pay it if it's broken. So, um, managed to get it down to £50 for it, um, for everything. And um, then, once I'd already sort of agreed that, and I was kind of putting it back in the box, I actually realised that I didn't actually know this, it did this. The, on the back, I know about the contrast, but if you adjust the contrast, the lines go away. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that was unknown to me. So there was absolutely nothing wrong with the Vectrex at all. Um, so, yeah, I managed to get, get it down £12. I didn't say anything, because I had to drive like a couple of hours to get there, so I thought it was fair enough. Um, so, yeah, managed to bag the Vectrex, the control in the game, for 50 quid, So which was pretty cool. Um, right, so that's probably about it, really. Um, so, as you see, my Vectrex, uh, yeah, pickup. Pretty, uh, pretty stoked to get another one in the collection. And again, you know, with all that stuff, really good. So, I'm uh, going to go off now and uh, play with my mighty Vectrex army. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the week with another review. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I'll see you soon. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over.